Welcome to Going Places with Jesus Ministries Live. Zoom Intercessory Prayer Seminar, with special guest Pastor Dell and Lady Barnes. The theme for 2024 is, Redeemed Through Fervent Prayer. Absolutely. God bless everyone. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. We are Going Places with Jesus Ministries, and you have just entered our third annual Intercessories Prayer Seminar for the year 2024. We started a few years ago, and by God's grace, we have now made it into year three. So that is something to be uh, tremendously grateful for. I am Evangelist Sidoni Bariner, and I'll be your host for today. And like we said, it is our third annual intercessory prayer session. And we have several things lined up for you today. So we invite you to stay through to the very end. We have some breakout rooms coming up. And we also have our very special guest speakers, uh, Pastor Dell Barnes and Lady Michelle Barnes. They're going to be speaking to us. It's going to be di absolutely dynamic. So we invite you to stay till the very, very end. This year, our theme for our intercessory prayer seminar is Redeemed Through Prayer. Amen. Redeemed through prayer. Yes, we are redeemed by God's grace through prayers. And we know that the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous avails much. Amen. So we continuously pray. We are a people that should be given over to continuous prayer before our Lord, our God, our Savior, our Master, our Ruler. There are so many titles that we can bestow upon God. Um, one of them I love in particular is to be able to call God my Abba Father. It's, it just does something to me, and I pray that it resonates in your spirit as well, right? So we're going to go, if you still have time, by the way, to invite someone, we invite you to send them this Zoom link so they are able to log on. Um, they can be listening from wherever they are. And we invite you to invite someone to come on on. Um, we just placed the link again in the chat of this Zoom session. And so it's a quick and easy, simple copy and paste. <laughs> That's all it is. And you can get a number of people to join in. Like we mentioned before, we have our breakout rooms coming up. We have four very dynamic breakout rooms coming up. And the breakout rooms are going to be uh, a room for deliverance. That's going to be spearheaded by Pastor Roger Jordan. We have a breakout room for healing. That's going to be spearheaded by uh, Sister Peaches Clark. We have a breakout room for families. That's going to be spearheaded by Minister Channer. And we also have a breakout room for finances that's going to be spearheaded by Pastor DeAndre Hilaire. So we invite you in a few minutes. I'll be giving you the go ahead when to join the breakout rooms. Right. But for now, we want to remind you that you still have a few minutes to invite someone in. We're just three minutes into our broadcast and you still have time to get someone in and be a part of this session. Like we mentioned before, it is going to be a dynamic session. We're having our breakout rooms where you'll be able to touch and agree with the intercessors and pray for a specific need. I'll be giving more instructions uh, in a few minutes, but for now, I want to get into um, our prayer, our Bible verse for the day, and also get into a word of prayer, very quick prayer, and then we'll be giving you the instructions for our for the breakout room. So Pastor Alistair Begg, uh, I'm sure a lot of people know him. He wrote something very interesting, and I thought it was, um, it's, it spoke specifically to our need to always have endless prayers before our Lord. It says, that it is in our prayers that um, it is revealed what the preoccupations are in our lives. Um, some of them can be unashamedly selfish and self-oriented and speak to the absence of the great concerns of the kingdom of God. To pray in Jesus' name is to be in the spirit. To be in the spirit is to be trusting the Lord Jesus Christ and his saving work. And this should form the sole basis upon which we have access to the almighty God. We 
have not been brought into God by anything that we can do. We come by way of the blood of Jesus Christ that has been shed on the cross for our sins, my sins, your sins, our collective sins. So we need to keep that in mind. With that said, I'm going to go into our Bible verse for this morning. I am reading from the New King James Version, and we're reading Ephesians 6, verses 14 through 18. Now, I could have started way before, <laughs> but I wanted to, in the essence of time, uh, condense it just a little bit. So we're reading only from Ephesians 6, verses 14 through 18, which reads, Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And the part that speaks specifically to our intercessory prayer seminar today, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Every single person who calls himself a disciple of Jesus Christ must be engaged in endless prayers. Prayer is our way of communicating with our Father. A prayer is our way of communicating with the sovereign God who formed us. Amen. It is not to be seen as something cumbersome. It is not to be seen as an inconvenience. It is to be seen as a time where we get to talk. It's a dialogue. It's not a monologue. Amen. So it should be seen as a time of wonderful conversations with our Lord creator. What could be better than that? I don't know what is. And when you find it, you let me know because I doubt you'll be able to find it. Amen. So we're going to go now into our time of prayer. And I, I want the desire of everyone on the intercessors team is that you get your mind ready, get your spirit ready, get your heart ready to receive what will be poured out in this session for today. And so, Lord Father, we thank you for your divine mercies and your divine grace. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings, oh God, that you have bestowed upon us to be here now. We thank you, oh God, that you have given us the presence of mind, oh God, to be in the present, ready to receive, oh God, what it is that you have ordained for us to receive on this day. We thank you, almighty God, that you sit outside of time orchestrating, oh God, everything that we do, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit this session into your hands. We thank you, God, that you have prepared the hearts ready to receive. We thank you, Lord, that you have prepared the intercessors, that you have prepared the speakers, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that at the end of this session, you are glorified. We thank you, Lord, that you remain seated high and lifted above, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you are still, oh God, having the concerns of men in your hands. They are ever before you, God. And so even before we speak, even before we ask, oh God, you already know the needs. We thank you, God, that you are present now to meet needs, needs of salvation, needs of redemption, needs of deliverance, needs of healing, needs of financial breakthroughs and provision. We thank you, almighty God, that you're here to meet the needs, oh God, of those of us who have family burdens, oh Lord. Father, we stand ready humbled, oh God, to cast our burdens upon you, Lord, for we know, oh God, that you care for us. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Words would fail us, oh God, to appropriately and adequately give you praise. But nevertheless, oh God, we sing praises unto your mighty name, for you are sovereign. You are high and lifted up, and we glorify your holy name. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, oh God, amen. Oh. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, we bless the name of the Most High God. For our God is worthy of the praise. He is worthy of the honor. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of thanksgiving. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We offer up, oh God, our Authentic worship today, worship that is in spirit and in truth, God, before you, for you are good, you are good, you are good, and there is none like you, God. We thank you, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. For all the persons in the chat right now, I want you to put up, I thank you, Lord. I want you to type in the chat right now. I thank you, Lord. We are going to get ready. I want everyone, everybody knows me, that I am a huge fan of taking copious notes, okay? I live by it. I swear by it. Um, It's just a blessing. Amen? So get your notepads ready. Get your Bibles ready. We are making way for our main speakers, our guest speakers this morning. They are a power couple. Yes, because they're standing on the word of God. It literally is their life source. They rely on nothing else but the word of God. And it is such an admirable relationship that they have. They are, when you talk about social media influencers, I personally see them as social, godly social media influencers. And they're doing such a tremendous work in the harvest. For the war, for the Lord, Amen. Uh, Pastor Del Barnes, he's known as the motivator, pastor, the musician. Um, he is a pastor at Courts of Praise Deliverance Ministries. He works for the Hernando County School District. Um, he studied at the Saint Leo University. He's married to his absolutely beautiful Holy Spirit filled. Powerhouse wife, um, First Lady Michelle Barnes, and they've been married, I believe, over 30 years. Yes. They have been married. Amen. Pastor Del Barnes is an accomplished saxophonist. Let me tell you something. You want to go on Pastor Del Barnes' Facebook page, people. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it is a blessing. We have personally had the opportunity at Going Places with Jesus Ministries to have him come and speak into our pastor's lives at one of our pastor's appreciation sessions that we had, I believe it was in 2017. And it was a tremendous blessing. He had his saxophone, he came prepared with the word, and he also prophesied over the people of God. Right. It was one of the most memorable moments in all my years of ministry. So that's a little bit about Pastor Del Barnes his beautiful wife, um, First Lady Michelle Barnes, uh, she uh, she's a career educator. She is an accomplished mother. Um, <laughs> I think one of her greatest accomplishments is that she is a mother to yes. three absolutely yes. accomplished, amazing yes. kids. They are just beautiful children living their lives for the Lord. She is an um, ESSA specialist in Hernando County. She's passionate about, of course, we just mentioned family. She's passionate about life. She's passionate about love. She is super passionate about God. And one of her, one of the biggest accomplishments, she is, she stands as the epitome of what godly survival and grace under pressure looks like because she a breast cancer survivor. And for that, I salute you this morning, Lady Barnes. Um, yeah everyone to ensure that you have a pencil a pen a notebook get your bible out as we make way for our very accomplished speakers this morning power couple if you ask me yes <laughs> by way of the spirit of the lord pastor dell and first lady michelle barnes god bless you good what what time is it it's noon good afternoon good afternoon we are so delighted um and humbled to be with you guys today and more than all 
we just want to give honor. You know what? I'm I'm going to let Lady Barnes do that because she she wants to greet. She's got a special greeting. You know, I'm not going to mess with that. It, it's just an honor as well for me to be sitting next to this great woman of God, um, my wife, my brown sugar, and and Pastor Pastor Roger was talking about um addiction to sugar well pastor roger i'm sorry i'm i can't get rid of this brown sugar um but um we're, we're really honored and to be with you guys and more than all I, I am honored to be sitting next to my beautiful wife and to be able to minister with her um we don't get this opportunity too often and every time uh, we get the opportunity. I, I am humbled and I give way to her and she's going to lead us out. Go on, baby. Well, first of all, I want to say to the moderator, thank you. Thank you for such a beautiful introduction. And yes, you are absolutely right. Our children are our trophies. I believe they are the best, the absolute best part of you and me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good morning, Pastor Jordan and Lady Jordan and all of God's beautiful children. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is indeed an honor to be with you this morning in the presence of the Lord. And this morning we have just come to admonish you to possess your position of power. Mm. We are powerful, mm. powerful people, Pastor Barnes. Yes. And yeah. a lot of times the enemy tries to rob us of our identity in God. And so this afternoon, mm -hmm. we just want to remind you of who you are in God. Now, I, I am I am not a minister. God, don't I am, say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I am just, just going to pave the way. Just, just go on and, and For preach. the man of God. Go on and preach, baby. All right. So um, this afternoon, I want to read from Isaiah 44, verse 22. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful scripture. One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And I love it from the message translation and it reads this is god speaking i have wiped the slate clean of all of your wrongdoings there's nothing absolutely positively nothing left of your sins mm. come back to me jesus come back i have redeemed you isn't that beautiful that's powerful. Redeemed oh means gosh. to repurchase, mm. to win or to get back, to free from captivity, to pay ransom. Mm -hmm. And in order for something to be redeemed, it must be paid for. And this afternoon, I'm so glad because Jesus, ah, Jesus ah. paid it all. Ooh. All oh to God. him I owe. My God. Sin had left a crimson stain. But you know what he did? He washed it white as snow. as snow. Jesus. He redeemed us, not with silver or gold, but with his precious, precious blood. And there's a song that I love. I'm not going to sing it. But there's a song that I love. And it says, redeemed when my ah, ah. burden of oh, sin was high. Does anyone oh, know what oh, I'm God. talking about this oh, afternoon? God. Redeemed hey, when my da, da, da. soul was condemned to die. Redeemed for a price I could not pay. Redeemed. Redeemed. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Redeemed. Jesus. Jesus. Do I have any redeemed people Jesus. on the line? This afternoon, Hallelujah. does anyone know what I am talking about this afternoon? Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord rejoice. Yes, yes. Let the redeemed of the Lord shout My this God. afternoon. Hey, shout. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord worship this afternoon. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Jesus. The moderator hit on it a little bit. But when you have been diagnosed mm -hmm. with stage three cancer, Jesus. standing at death's door like I was, mm. this song takes on a new meaning. Come on. And many of you, you might not have my story, Come on. but you Come have on. your own story this morning. Jesus. I said redeemed. Hallelujah. Oh. Redeemed. Oh, God. Thank Worship you. Worship the Lord. Should it have been this afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He paid the price on Calvary's cross for us. My God. And because of that, we have authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of that, mm -hmm. Pastor Barnes, we have mm -hmm. power. Yes. We possess yes. power. Yeah. I've just come to remind you this afternoon of your position in power that you possess. Jeez. The devil doesn't like it when we realize our potential, when we understand our purpose, and when we recognize our power. Mm. Mm. Because he wants to keep us in the dark. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. He's keep us in bondage. Yes, come yes. on. Yes. So that he can Ooh. manipulate us. Yes. And trick us. Mm -hmm. And play with us. Yes. And have us like pawns and puppets. Jeez. We become a threat Ooh. when we recognize the power that we possess. Mm -hmm. We become a threat to his schemes, to his plans, to his plots, mm -hmm. and to his wicked devices. My God. We become a danger. I like the way you said that. To his kingdom. Jeez. That's how powerful we are, Pastor Barnes, mm -hmm. and children of the Most High God. This afternoon, it's time to possess your position of power mm. Mm. by the power that is in the word of God. It's time to command Jesus. your mind to get up, get in order, and align Jesus. with the word of God. Yes. For yes. we are anointed mm -hmm. to break rank. I like that. <laughs> Come on, say it. That's how say strong it. we are. Say it. We are anointed to break rank, Jeez. to take over and to conquer. Mm. We're not no fool, fool thing. Come on. We're not no little piece of something. Mm. We are anointed in God. We are powerful in God Jeez. to take over, to conquer in the name of Jesus. The anointing qualifies us to oh, take charge. Touch on it. Yeah. It qualifies us mm -hmm. to take control. Mm -hmm. We don't have to accept what the enemy That's throws right. at us. That's right. And when he threw cancer at me, mm. I threw it right back. <laughs> because I knew who I was in Ooh. God. This wasn't my first rodeo with him. So I knew the God that I, Sorry. yes, Sorry I remember Sorry. when I was pregnant with destiny mm -hmm. and according to a test I took, she was supposed to have um, spinal bifida and be severely retarded. Mm -hmm. And our doctor said to me, you're going to have to abort her mm -hmm. and try again. And at that time, Pastor Barnes was in Panama. You were somewhere with the military. Mm, my mom was so, I was all by myself. And the enemy said, I got you now. Mm. Little your Gino. husband, your covering is not around you. Jeez. Your mother, who is your dearest friend, your best friend, is not around. Mm. And the doctor said to me, we're going to have to do it now. We're going to have to abort that baby now. Mm. And I said, no, I, I said, no, mm. I said, that's not even an option because I'm a child of God. Come on. Come on. I'm a child of the most high God. Woo. And I said to the doctor, I think Jesus. this is, I think this is where I really, mm. really learned who God was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up in the church 
and, and, and so on and so forth. But this was a real encounter Person. with him, personal Person. for me. Yes. And I said, that's not even an option on the table because I am a child of the most high God. And I don't believe in abortion. Come on. And I said, whatever it is, it is. so be it. Jeez. And he made me sign off so that I wouldn't be able to sue him when destiny was born. My God. But if you follow us on Facebook. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Say so. <laughs> See my greatest, greatest miracle. Ha! Jeez, Hallelujah. Jeez, She's sir. beautiful. She's brilliant. She models. She has a career. I mean, I said, my God. This is what retarded looks like? Hey. Pastor Boss, this hey. is what we nearly aborted. Jesus. But thanks be Jesus. unto God. Mm. So when I say to you, oh, shut up, I, you can tell us about control. Mm. When I say to you that we, the anointing, qualifies us to take charge, I know what oh, I'm saying. Oh, I am to qualified. You. These are not oh, just words. God. When you are anointed, mm -hmm. your word carries power. Yes. Your word carries authority. Yes. You can yes. speak those things that are not. As though they are. My they are. God. The anointing Jesus. empowers you to carry out your divine assignments. Oh, my God. And fulfill your purpose on the earth. Jesus. Ooh, I feel like shouting right about that. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My Hallelujah. I, I, I love that. I oh am God. qualified. Yes. I am qualified yes. to worship. Yes. I am qualified to my give God, God praise. Yes. I am qualified to communicate yes. with my deliverer. My God. I, hey, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless Let's your name, Jesus. Those Come on. That are not. As though they already are. Yes. My faith, my faith That's it. Come on. that is in God yes. gives me the authority yes. and the license. Yes. Oh, God, to stand yes. in in the midst of the storm, in the midst of perplexities, in the midst of yes. everything that the enemy yes. has thrown our way. Yes. Why? Because I am qualified to be protected. Woo! My God, God. Barnes, you done started it all. Leviticus oh 21 and 12 says, for the crown of the anointing oil of his God is on him. The anointing is a crown of dominion and power to reign in life. Oh God. So that means that while you were going through all that you were going through, yes. the oil of the anointing of God was upon you. So because it's upon you, oh my God, even when the enemy yes. still want to persist his attack, he could not prosper. No. no. Because of the anointing. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor Roger said in the breakout room. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. It is the anointing that breaks the yoke. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, God, those of you that are watching right now, if whatever the problem, whatever the yes. situation, Come we on, want Lord. to remind yes. you that you are qualified. Yes. You yes. are, oh, because yes. of the blood of yes. Jesus, because you've been redeemed, yes. oh, by the blood of Jesus take Christ, Woo, to take yes. authority yes. over the enemy. The anointing is the Holy Spirit in action, which comes from having a relationship with God. So that means when the anointing, oh God, pushes me towards God, yes. the anointing pulls me out of calamity. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Like that. Like that. It is the manifested power of God or the Holy Spirit in our midst. Oh my God. Yes. It enables you to rule and reign over devils, over situations, over circumstances, over sickness, negativity. over everything, oh my God, over negativity, yes, oh hallelujah, even when you don't feel like you can make it, the anointing pushes you, come on yes. baby, come on, you got this, come yes. on, oh hallelujah, it's not based, on it's not based. oh no. come on Barnes, no. it is not based on feelings, 
It is based upon what God placed upon you. And in, oh, I just got a news flash. Listen, the enemy, it's not about you. Uh-oh, I done went there. It's not about you. It's not about me. But it's about the anointing of God that is placed on the inside that the enemy wants to destroy. So if he can get, oh, glory, if he can get you to think in your mind that it's not going to happen, no. that I'm not going to make it. No. Oh, this is futile. Oh, I've been praying for so long. Oh, my God. Doubt, fear. Yeah. He places doubt and fear in your mind, oh glory to God, and that's how he gets you to give up. Yes. But when you begin to build that fervent prayer with God, oh glory to God, I'm getting ahead of myself, yes. oh glory to God. But when you begin to have that established relationship yes. 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 with God, yes. the word of God, the Holy Spirit, yes. the anointing stands up. David said, who is this uncircum? Hey. Who is this yes. uncircumcised yes. Philistine who is defying and defiling the, the, the children of God? That righteous indignation gets up on the inside and begin to cast out devils and demons and, and, and everything that is going yes. awry comes back yes. into place. Yes. yes. Woo, yes. glory. Yes. Oh, we thank God for the blood. Yes. We thank God for the blood that yes. repels all the spiritual foes that comes against us. Oh, hallelujah, in this world. When we feel rejected, yeah. Satan wants us to feel rejected so that we can take our minds off God. Yes. He wants us to lose our focus on God's truth. We can catch, oh my God, we can catch our thought when we begin to read the word of God. And when we begin to, to have that communication with God, God will keep us from gaining Oh, God, from the enemy gaining control over us and over our minds. Oh, glory. I love this. I love this. Our lives move in the direction of our strongest thoughts. It's the mm. truth. It's the truth. Oh, I hallelujah. Know. Pastor Roger said it in, 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 in our breakout. Oh, glory to God. How do I defeat, oh, bless your name, Jesus, the negative thoughts in my mind? The word. The word. Go to the word. Yes. Run to the word. Oh, yes. thy word have I hid in my heart. Oh, glory to God. Yes. That I may not sin against yes. my God. Not only will I not sin, but the word that I've hidden in my heart become my strong tower. Yes. Oh, glory. Yes. The word yes. that I've hidden in my heart yes. becomes that defense yes. mechanism. Oh, run. hallelujah. Faith. The righteous uh -huh. run in and are safe because I got the word yes. on the inside. Oh, hallelujah. And when I begin to think of the word of God, I remain or yes. I regain control. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I am strong. The Bible says that let the weak say, say I am strong. Yes. yes. Oh, let's yes. go back. Yes. Let's go back. Yes. Oh, barn, barn. Let's go back for a second. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord, let those who God have brought back out of slavery, oh, bless the name of the Lord, testify. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Listen, some of you that are watching right now, you've been through some things. Oh, God, you did not go through it to be quiet. You did not go through it to remain quiet. You went through it. God allowed you to go through it. He brought you out of it for you to testify. He brought you out of it so you can tell somebody who's going through the same thing you're going through so that they could be strengthened. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Ah, the battle over our position and relationship with God is what the enemy is after. But God, when we begin to build that relationship with God, it comes through fervent prayer. Oh, I'm going to say it again. A strong relationship yes. with God comes through yes. fervent prayer. Oh, my God. And, oh, let's not forget praise and worship. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I got to go on. I got to go on. Oh, hallelujah. Some of, oh, <laughs> some of our thoughts, battles are won on our knees. Down on my knees. Yes. When sorrow, oh. I didn't, I wouldn't call it the sick. 
Oh, bless your name, Jesus. I talk to Jesus down on, hey, down on my knees. Oh, hallelujah. We can tear down strongholds. We can tear down arguments. Yes. We can tear down yes. pretensions by quoting the word of God in prayer, yes. which is power. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Through prayer, we tell God that we are helpless without him and that we have absolute confidence yes. in him. Oh, yes. bless your name, Jesus. Yes. God is amazing. He is an amazing God. And listen, all you've got to know is remember who you're connected to. Power source. <laughs> Ooh, he is our power source. Prayer is a powerful weapon. And it is said to be the greatest weapon of all. Ooh, I love this part. Oh, God, it is also described as a guided missile that can be launched from anywhere on the face of the earth. Oh, glory to God. And it will hit any target. And check this out. It doesn't matter what defense systems are out there or what the devil has. He cannot. He cannot stop the powerful prayers of the believing saints of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Prayer is so effective that it guards our mind by helping us to keep focused on Jesus. Barnes, I feel like running in this house. I feel like running. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. As I begin to bring this to a close, let's go to Bible. Let's go to Bible. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. I'm going to read the scriptures to you from the, from the message translation. Philippians uh, 4, 6, and 7. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers. Let God know your concerns, and before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for your good. Oh, my God. It will come and settle you down. It will come and settle you down. It is wonderful what happens when Christ displays or dispels worry and centers your life. So that means that the enemy allow worry to come and throw you off balance. Oh, glory to God. But when you begin to worship, when you begin to adore God, when you begin to give God adoration, and when you begin to remind him of how good he is and how beautiful he is, all of a sudden your mind begins to come off those things that you're worrying about. And now you're starting to set your mind on, hey, oh, hallelujah. For David said, I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. So now my thoughts are being elevated to the higher power. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Mark 11, 25 and 24, 25. Jesus, oh, hallelujah, was talking to the people. Embrace this God life. Really? Embrace it. And nothing will be too much for you. This mountain, for, it, for instance, just say, go jump in the lake. No, no shuffling at all. It will jump in the lake, and it's a, as good as done. Oh, somebody need to give God some praise right there. That's why we urge you, oh, hallelujah, to pray for absolutely everything, raging from the small things to the large things to the medium things. Include everything as you embrace this God life, and you'll get God's everything. Oh, my God. So that means... The, the more or the more intense my relationship is with God, uh, I become like Queen Esther. Oh, yeah. God. He's gotta come. Oh, hallelujah. He's got to come through because his word is on the line. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. One more. Ephesians 6, 13 through 18. Oh, hallelujah. Be prepared. <laughs> You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued so that when it's all over, but the shouting, oh, hallelujah. Ah, some people love to shout. Oh, hallelujah. But it's better to shout when I know where I'm coming from. Hey, glory to God. It's That's better to right. shout knowing that I am redeemed. Yes. It's better to shout knowing that God 
paid the price. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. And you'll still be on your feet because truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than just words. It's a lifestyle. Woo! I put on Facebook some time ago, ministry is not just behind the pulpit. Ministry is a daily life. How you living? Oh, God, you'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. I'm going to say that again. God's word is an indispensable weapon for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Oh, hallelujah. But a mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Oh, hallelujah. Prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Oh, hallelujah. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drop out as we're soldiers in the army. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory yeah. to God. Yeah. I remember when I was in, in basic training and there was a, a, a soldier by the name of Bailey. Bailey was much bigger than I was. Oh, glory to God. And everyone was looking for Bailey to fail. Oh, hallelujah. But I remember all the time we were on the track running. And when we went through, oh, hallelujah, those the, the test, the PT, the PT test, Bailey was all the way in the back. As soon as I came in and I crossed the line, oh, glory to God, I looked back for Bailey. And I told one of the other soldiers, come on, let's go get Bailey. So we went back on the track and we ran. We got to Bailey and we began to encourage. Courage, Bailey. Oh, glory to God. Come on, Bailey. You got this. Come on, Bailey. You got this. Come on, man. We're going to do this together. And, and we began to call cadence. And as we begin to call cadence, listen, there's some times in your life, oh, glory to God, that you may have to go back and get somebody and encourage somebody and tell them, Come on, you got this. Come on, we're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, glory to God. And as I close, I want you to believe. That the spirit of God, that God has placed inside of you is powerful enough to encourage you to cross the finish line. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. When we believe and stand on God's word, the devil recognized that we possess our position of power. Oh, hallelujah. You have power. When you recognize, oh my God, I got a news flash and I'm going to quit with this. Oh, hallelujah. When I recognize that I possess lethal power, oh, glory to God, I come to the conclusion it don't matter who, it doesn't matter when, it doesn't matter where, I can walk with my head up knowing that I am a child of God and that I've been redeemed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to stop there because if we don't, we're going to keep going and we're going to go over time. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. So we honor the Lord today. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. We honor him for who he is. Ah, he is the mighty deliverer. He is a mighty God. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. I'm a moderator. You better you better take the mic back or else. You, you, <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, I got bless your name, Jesus. Thank God. Ooh. Bless you. Amen. Listen, Pastor Dell, First Lady Barnes. Boy, we feasting today. Sir, we are feasting. We are feasting and we're praising God for the outpouring of such very important life-changing messages that you have just been dropping. You've just been dropping gem after gem after gem after gem. And we just want to, sir, mm, we praise God. We thank God for your testimonies. We thank God for the gems. We thank God for the nuggets. Amen. I am a child of God and I am redeemed. Someone just put that in the comments just now. And you know what? I want everyone to go ahead and put that in the comment. I am a child of God and I am redeemed. I want you to flood the comments right now. Pastor Dell, First Lady Barnes, I'm going to ask you, 
if you can, we're asking you guys to take us along um, a prayer by way of prayer. We're mm -hmm. asking you to pray for everyone who's on this broadcast My God. Um, right now. Just pray over the people of God according to how the Holy Spirit of God is leading. Mm -hmm. um, we are we we are more bound to the mm -hmm. Spirit of God than we are to the confines of time. But we're asking God to just. We're just asking you and believing God that you will speak Amen. according to how the Lord is going to lead. Because we believe wholeheartedly that you're speaking to us. You both are sharing with us from a position of the full anointing of the Spirit of God. Oh God, oh God, hallelujah, we thank you, Father, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah, whose report do yes, you believe? Yes. I believe the report of the Lord. The report of the Lord that declared that I am healed. Uh, let the, hey, the sick declare that I am. I am. I am. I am. I am healed yes. oh hallelujah father your word has declared healing oh hallelujah your word has declared that healing is the children's bread and in the name of jesus hey, baba, shate, we come against infirmities yes. right now yes. in the name of hey, my god from infirmities, God, that have been persistent, that have been prolonged, and the doctors, God, don't know, Lord Jesus, exactly where it be belongs, even after the questions, after the history, oh, hallelujah, can't figure it out, but God, you are God, you are Lord, you are, in, hey, hallelujah, you are our Savior, you are our deliverer, you are our maker, you are our way maker, and God, we decree that God, our bodies are healed. Hallelujah. And Father, that <laughs> report, God, that your daughter, Lord Jesus, hey, Baba, should I be? That report, God, that report, yes, Lord God, is report. unwelcome. That yes. negative report is unwelcome. In the name of Jesus, we send it back now. In the name of Jesus, hey, hallelujah, and we decree healing. Yes, and wholeness. Hey, God, hey, shatanda da bokeh na na ma. Oh, hallelujah, not a temporary thing. This no, is not, hey, no, not a temporary no. fix. No, 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 no. Oh, hallelujah, no remission. Oh, but complete divine, 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 divine. In the name of Jesus, we decree that healing now in that body. In the name of Jesus. Father, blow the mind of the doctor. Hey, my God. Lord Jesus, on the next visit, blow the mind of, where did it go? We, hey, God, where did it, oh, God. God did it, 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 God did it. God did it. In the name of Jesus. Peace, peace in it. So, Father, we decree no, and declare God. peace right now. Peace right hallelujah. now. Oh, hallelujah. My peace I leave with you. Yes. My peace I give unto you. That unsettled mind. Yes. That unsettled mind. Yes. It, hey, hallelujah. Let this. Let this also be in you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You are an overcomer. Oh, yes. glory to God. You are an overcomer. Yes. Woo, yes. hallelujah. Yes. You have overcome. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Why? Because of the blood. Yes. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh, my God. So, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Hey, I come against the spirit of depression. Come on. 
in the name of Jesus. Yes. I come against that spirit of depression, God. Lord, that has been plaguing, Lord Jesus, your child. And in the name of Jesus, we decree healing now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Spirit of depression, we command you to leave. We command you. We're not asking you. We're demanding. Hey, In the name of Jesus, now. We command it to be so in the name of Jesus. And Father, we, hmm, we give you glory for who you are. Oh, hallelujah. You're a God of family. Yeah. Mm. Father, the ripple in that family unit right now, that ripple, Lord Jesus, that ripple represents uneasiness, unsettledness. Father, hey, hallelujah, there, there's moisture, there, there, there's, when you think of the rippling, you think of movement, negative movement, God release, Lord God, the spirit of calm in that family unit right now, in the name, hey, yes. glory, oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, we, hey, we speak peace, hey, my God, Jesus, when you on the boat, Lord Jesus, the boat was rocking. Oh, hallelujah. The wind was boisterous. Woo! My God, Jesus, you got up. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. But first, God, let me speak to the faith. Hey, my God. Father, I, I call forth, God, the spirit of boldness of faith yes. right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we decree the spirit of boldness of faith. For your word declare that whatever we ask yes. by faith, yes. Lord God, well, as long as we believe asking, Lord God, through your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, it shall. So shall it be. So, God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh God, even as if it's the size of the grain of a mustard seed, that is enough to get you moving. <laughs> Glory to God. So in the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray that our brother, our sister will lift their faith right now. Oh, hallelujah. For your word declared that you stood up on the bow of the ship. God, by faith, we stand on the bow of the ship right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And we rebuke that wind right now. We rebuke everything, God, that is in that in that family line. Oh, God, that is causing the ripple, that is causing the boister, oh God of the water to move and to beat upon the family ship in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. When we rebuke you, cease from your tormenting. And we speak peace. Oh God, bring peace into that family unit right now. In the name of Jesus, we decree it to be so. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We say thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I pray, God, that you will look all across, Lord Jesus. My God, this Zoom screen. Oh, God, everyone, God, that is Lord Jesus in this, in this Zoom meeting right now. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will touch every screen. Ah, touch every home that is represented, Lord Jesus, right now in this, mute, in this meeting. We decree and declare breakthrough. Oh, hallelujah. All across the Zoom line right now, we decree healing. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we decree deliverance in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we decree, Lord God, forgiveness, God. Mm, my God. Oh, hallelujah. My God, walking around with that thing. Hey, my God. We pray, God, that, Lord, my God, that they will put down the weight that does so easily beset them. And, Father, release the spirit of forgiveness. Oh, my God. Mm, mm. Oh, God. Unforgiveness is like a weight that is wrapped around your neck. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. That if thrown in the water, it will pull you down to the bottom of the sea. Oh, hallelujah. But God said, if you will, hey, Baba, if you will look to me and not to what has happened. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. I will remove. Hey, I will remove the yoke from around your neck. Hey, glory to God. And you will be able to rise. Rise to the position that I have ordained you to be. Woo, glory. Woo. 
you're going to begin to experience the, the, the powerful move of God when you release that which you're holding on to. Oh, in the name of, I don't know who I'm talking to. Oh, hallelujah. But it's time to let it go and allow God to deal with it. For the word of God declare that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I. I saith the Lord, I saith, I, I saith the Lord will repay. Oh, my God. Take your hands off of it yeah. and allow God to deal with it. Oh, my Jesus. It's been going on too long now. Mm, my God. Father, we come. Hey, unforgiveness creates callous around the heart. Oh, my God. Oh, hallelujah. God did not allow his son, Jesus Christ, to come into this world and pay the price for our freedom, for us to be walking around with a hard, callous heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove the callous from that heart. Father, bring deliverance, breakthrough, and victory now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. Right where you are, just begin to give God some glory. Even if it's for 30 seconds, just begin to give God some glory. Oh, hallelujah. Just begin to tell him thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Woo, hallelujah. Oh, I feel in my spirit as you begin to give him glory, there's going to be a break. There's going to be a break. Hey, there's going to be a breaking. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's invite now um, Minister Mark. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is a great and mighty God. He is our creator. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am Minister Chana. God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm the leader of the intercessory group. And I give God thanks this day. Thanking God today. Mine is the task to give the vote of thanks. Hallelujah. I give the vote of thanks to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that is in our midst today we give him thanks and we give him praise without him this could have not been happened without him we could not take our position today hallelujah so we give him the glory the honor and the praise that due unto his name glory to god you know i want to thank our esteemed pastor pastor roger jordan for giving me the right to go ahead with this mighty move of god hallelujah jesus also he's engaged in every aspect of this ministry we give god thanks for him thank you sir i want to thank pastor barnes and his wonderful wife hallelujah for accepting this invitation to come on and speak thus saith the lord hallelujah hallelujah we receive we receive our cups i don't know about you but my cup is overflowing my cup is overflowing, not because I'm in teary eye, but it's joy, tears of joy to know that I am a child of God and I am redeemed. I was bought with a price. So man of God and woman of God, we thank you most heartedly. And we pray that God pour whatever you pour out in us, God pour it back into you a hundredfold. Hallelujah. God love you. God love you. God love you, man and woman of God. Be a part of what God is doing with going places with Jesus Ministries and join us on this journey. It will change your life 
for the better. Until we meet again, I am Evangelist Sedoni Barner on behalf of Going Places with Jesus Ministries. God bless you and have a wonderful day.